Hey everyone, welcome back to Go Kick Me, your favorite crowdfunding review channel here on YouTube. Today we're going to talk about the Rayo, or Rayo, the ultimate bicycle taillight. Get ready for an enhanced riding experience with the world's brightest and most advanced taillight. Sounds good. I'm into bikes. I'm into putting lights on my bike. I'm into tech. I'm into crowdfunding projects that are tech. So definitely got to cover this one. Just some quick stats. Uh, they're well over their $10,000 goal. They're currently at 54000 and change. 700-something backers. 21 days to go by the time you guys see this. Uh, so pretty cool. Uh, let's take a look at the actual video a little bit. So basically this is a kind of cool designed, super bright, quote-unquote smart tail light that goes on your bike and as you can see it goes on the goes on the seat post introducing Ryo the intelligent and versatile bicycle tail light um so yeah it's basically you know they use solid works they make really nice videos um it's got three LEDs some fancy total internal reflective glass lens whatever rechargeable battery a uh, little rubber strap holds on your seat post. Reflection lenses direct and focus light in wide, close, and long distance beams. Um, so that's a lot of fancy talk for it's got a little internal cavity to reflect the light. So, um, I'll get into that in a little bit more. Um, so no tools required because it's just a little rubber strap that goes around. Um, let's get to the interesting features. So. There's tons of bike lights. You know, what makes that bike light, this bike light, um, special? A couple things. Basically, it has, as near as I can tell, the only thing that it really has uh, that makes it special is it has Bluetooth and it has an accelerometer in it. So the accelerometer is important because. It tracks your acceleration and bike movements using a three axis accelerometer and a three axis gyroscope. So. It actually probably doesn't need both, but they probably come on the same chip anyway. Um, so basically, the accelerometer, all you really need it to do is um, just sense the deceleration of the bike. So it can tell if you are slowing down, and then it will, I don't know, brighten the lights or change the pattern, etc. So that's actually pretty cool, but, you know, that's not that special. Um, nowadays, you know, and they even say in here, uses drone technology. Yeah, actually, the accelerometers are also in your... Nintendo Wii, and they're on your phone, and they're all over the place nowadays, so it sounds cooler to say, oh, it's got drone gyros or whatever in there. Um, yeah, so see, here's your little drone. Um, the other cool features are, yep, yeah, customize the pattern, not so cool. Um, group synchronization, this one's kind of interesting, I guess this is where the Bluetooth comes in. Um, if you're driving in a pack, it can synchronize the lights. Ryo can automatically sync blinking patterns with other Ryo lights. Now everyone can ride safely as a group. So that's kind of nifty, but is it really actually safer? I don't know if it makes that much of a difference. I guess so. Um, you know, why not? Uh, this was actually kind of probably maybe the most cool thing. Ryo can also notify you when your bike is being tampered with, giving you some... So the implication here is that it, uh, I don't know, it'll light up and sort of protest if it's getting shaken, uh, and it can set a notification on your phone. Um, the thing here, though, is that it's a Bluetooth connection to your phone. So does that mean it will only work if you're within Bluetooth range of your bike when it's getting stolen? Um, you know, because it's not like there's a cellular, uh, you know, a cellular connection or a Wi-Fi connection um, on the bike you know, light. So uh, I think this one might not be so useful, but uh, at least having it light up and sort of be a, a really basic security alarm is kind of interesting. But then again, you know, like, okay, he puts his hand over the light before he starts shaking it, um, or he just takes the light off, uh, or he turns the light off, you know, who knows. Peace of mind when leaving your bike in a public place. And, um, <laughs> what happens if he has a knife? Oh, I'm going to go fight the bike thief. You know, he's probably definitely got a crowbar if he, or a bolt cutter. So, um, you know, what are you going to do if you, if it tells you guys stealing your bike? 
turns on easily with its built-in touch control and has a rechargeable battery. Ryo has an IP67 waterproof body. Ryo is based on... Okay, comes in nice colors, etc, etc. So, award-winning design, something, something. Um. Stay safe when you're riding on the road. Get the better, intelligent, tail light solution. Com so, okay, is this accelerometer thing, is the Bluetooth connection really worth it? Customizing your blinking pattern, I don't know. That's all. A lot of this seems like overkill, I guess is what I would call it. You know, okay. Let's just get to down to the to the brass tacks here. Right now, I think the early bird is done. It was originally thirty four dollars. Now you can get one for forty four dollars and two for you know for eighty. So basically forty dollars. Um, forty dollars for a three LED blinking light that okay it has a couple extra features in it. But let me break out some props. I always like to do props here on this channel. Because I am a bike owner, I just have lots of these things lying around. This is a not so smart LED light. It's definitely not 89 lumens or whatever this thing is. Um, it's only got two LEDs, but it does patterns. Okay, here's the slow pattern, and it does the f always on pattern, and it does the fast pattern. Okay, that's is that customizable? I guess that's customizable. This thing is basically waterproof. It's a you know solid piece of plastic unless the uh, of rubber unless the water gets in there. Uses a very cheap battery from a watch. Lasts months on end. The batteries cost a few cents to replace. You just kind of peel this thing off. I've done it lots of times. Um, but this whole thing, including the batteries, costs. One dollar. You can get these at dollar stores. So in Japan, I bought this at a hundred yen store, and um, yeah, and they last for a while. It's not going to win any awards for the design. It's actually pretty good. Doesn't need you know, no tools necessary either here. So basically, this does the most important stuff of what the Ryo does, and it costs a dollar. And I even have one. You know, it comes in multiple colors too. Um, so this one is also a. I guess this is a front one. Um, you can get them either, in, yeah, this is white, so this one goes on your front handlebars. This one is red, it goes on your back handlebars. Um, you can buy these things in Hong Kong even for less than a dollar nowadays. Um, and uh, so, you know, do I need it to coordinate? Mm, probably not. Um, the to This actually has, I would say that's probably a total internal reflection lens too, because basically all it is is have like an internal plastic piece. Um, you know, so for the cost of one Ryo, I could get 40 of these, or I could get I could get 20 of these and like 60 batteries or whatever um, if I bought them in bulk. So yeah, that's what I would say. It's just like I mean, if you're the kind of guy who has like carbon fiber everything on your bike, and you're really fancy and you want to get only the best. Definitely Ryo is better than this, but I'm the kind of guy who rides a um, kind of not so awesome China mountain bike, aluminum frame, you know, suspension, but nothing too fancy. Um, and I'm pretty happy with these things. Um, and I'm definitely saving a lot of money. So, yeah, that's my uh, final thought on that. Kind of a thumbs down, just for the price, you know, um, just because it doesn't do that much more than this the battery thing actually you could do that with just like a mercury switch I mean the the braking thing you could actually do that with like a mercury switch or I guess nowadays accelerometers are so cheap I'm pretty sure in a, in a couple maybe in a year or two these cheapo ones or maybe the ten dollar ones will also have that feature too so I'm gonna give the Ryo a pass check us out on Facebook and Twitter see you guys next time on Go Kick Me. Thanks. Bye.